Hi, it's Vicky here from Off The Hook For You and today I'm going to teach you how to do the continuous join for granny squares. This is an absolutely brilliant technique if you want to join your squares with the same colour. The reason being, um, there's only two ends to sew in because we start over here and we actually end up back over here with only two ends. So I've made these ones earlier, they're three round granny squares, but you can do it with two or five or ten round granny squares, it doesn't really matter. And let me find the end of my yarn and I'm actually going to join in this lovely blue colour. So starting with a slip knot on your hook. Again, we all make slip knots slightly differently. I'm going to start in the bottom, what is, what is going to be the bottom corner, but as it's a square, you can start anywhere. So join your yarn as normal, and then chain three up to get to the height of the stitch. And then two double crochet in the corner, same as you normally would do. One, two. I'm just going to move these ones slightly out the way so you can see what's going on. And then I chain one on the side, three double crochet into the next one. So you notice I'm using US terms even though I'm English. Okay, chain one, three double crochet in the next one. So you're actually going to do this square pretty much as normal until you get to side number three. Three. Now I'm a chain two in the corner for my squares, always have been. So, and then three double crochet in the next corner. So think of this as exactly the same as you'd be crocheting a normal granny square as if you were doing your last outside. Chain one, three double crochet in the next corner. And then that's not a corner, it's a side. Chain one. Next one. I'm starting to wish I'd done two round granny squares now, but hey. And then the same in this one here. What you will notice is that at the beginning, I only did three double crochet in the corner rather than three chain two, three. Um, and that's for a good point about when we actually finish it off. So chain, chain two. So I've got to my corner here, chain two, and I'm going to carry on round actually. So three more in this corner. It's going too soon. One, two, three, chain one into the next one. One, two, three. Wolf's getting stuck. Chain one into the next one. One, two, three, chain one into the corner. And now I'm going to do three double crochet into the corner and then stop. Two, three. Okay, so you've now got three sides of your granny square covered. What you're now going to do is chain two like you normally would do for your corner. But at this point, we're going to pick up the next square. And I'm about to join this square here. I'm going to leave this bit completely undone because that's where we get back round in the end. So what we do is we come up round this one, round, join to this one. This one joins here. So we join over to here, join over to here, join over to here. Then we get to the corner and then we work back round on this side. At that point, we bring in the next one. So we've finished this corner, but only with three double crochet in. And then we join in this one. And then we work up and round again. So you end up that you've got all of these ends completely free, but actually the rest of the squares are crocheted round. So if we just join to this one, so I'm gonna do three double crochet directly now. So I've just done my chain two, picking up my next square, and I'm just working three double crochet into the corner as I normally would do. One, two, three. Right, at this point, this is where we need to join it. And we're going to join this one into here. And what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to pull and grab. So I'm just going to pull that and pull that one through. What I'm now going to do is three double crochet into my next hole. Same as I normally would do for a normal granny square, three double crochet in each one. There we go. 
And then what I'm gonna do, go through this hole front to back, grab the loop, pull it through. I'm now joined. I'm now gonna double crochet three in here. One, two, three, this point, I'm gonna go through this one, grab the loop, pull it through, and then I'm gonna do three double crochet in the corner. And then as I chain two in my corners, I'm gonna chain two as normal. At this point, you're gonna notice I'm not actually gonna join here. I'm gonna wait and leave that one for the next round, and I'm gonna do three double crochet in this corner. So this corner is actually complete as a normal granny square would be. Now, if you look, we're joined here. I now need to make this square the same as this one. So what I'm gonna do is carry on working round, doing chain one, three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. And I'm gonna come all the way back down to here. When I get to here, I'm gonna stop after I've done my three double crochet. So if you wanna carry on with me, you can keep crocheting with me, or we can, you can catch up, or you can see me in a minute. So, oh, I didn't chain one. Let me chain one first. Three double crochet. Chain one. So this completely changed the way I am gonna make any blanket ever again. Um, I did my no brain a cow um, having learnt this technique. And then since then I've made at least three other blankets that I am never ever gonna go back to sewing squares together or crocheting squares together because this is just so much better. So in the corner, chain two. Three, I'm not a sewer, um, I'm a crocheter, so the fact that I only have two ends to sew in at the end of this is just amazing. All right, I'm getting on to my next corner. Two, three. So at this point, we'll look thread on there as well. And at this point, I'm now two squares and I've joined. Um, I need to do my corner as I normally would do. So I'm a chain two in the corner. One, two. At this point, I'm going to pick up my next square. So I ignore because I need this edge flat for when I come back round. I'm now going into my next square. So if you pick up your next square, three double crochet, three, through this one, grab, pull it back through, three double crochet in the next one. It's exactly the same as we've just done on the last square. through. You can see it's joined nicely together already. One, two, three. Right, so I'm in this, I'm in my corner as normal, so I'm going to chain two and then I'm going to start working back over here. At this point, stop when you get to three double crochet in the top of this one. So don't carry on, stop when you get into the top of that one. Three, chain one, three,
So in the corner, three double crochet, two, three, and chain two. Okay, so now we've got three squares joined together all in the same colour. At this point, we don't want to work down here unless you're doing more squares. So if I was doing four across, I'd have another one here, keep going, and I'd do exactly the same. So join this one side and then work the next two sides. And then again, if I had another one, we move up again. I'd So this one's already down to here. I'd join this one and then I'd come back round to here and then keep going. Because I want to go the other way now, what I'm going to do is I need now to put this one on. And what we do is you join the bottom edge together. So the next row that we actually do is with the next three here, all we're going to do is join the bottom edges and pull these in together. Okay, so I'm going to go through this one as my next one, right way facing, three double crochet, two, three, and then what I need to do is this one here is now joining on to here. So I'm actually going to wiggle stuff around so it's actually upside down now, but it's easier to work this way. And then I need to join into here. So my hook's going into here, I'm grabbing there. I'm pulling back through. Now I'm doing my next three double crochet in the next gap. So if you notice again, on the corner, I've only done half the corner. So make the loop big into the next gap, grab it, pull through into the next one. Three, loop nice and big into the next one, grab into the corner now. So we're going to work three double crochet. Okay. At this point, we need to start pulling the corners in together. So as it's a normal corner, but we wouldn't normally, we'd normally come back up here we actually need to join over here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna miss this one and I'm gonna go into this one. So this one here, the first one here, will be picked up by this square when it comes back. So it will make sense when we get there, but actually when we come back round, we will come back to this one. So what we're gonna end up with is all of these squares joined. I don't know if you can see them if I'm this way around. Um, all these squares joined, but only along this one edge. So let me go into here. I'm going to chain two. I'm now going to go into this one to join into this one. And I'm now going to go straight into this one. So I'm already in the corner, straight in, front to back in here. Three. At this point, I'm moving on. So I'm going to go into the next hole through, grab, next one. one. This wall's getting stuck. I haven't actually mentioned what it is. This is a Hobbycraft Pure Cotton Blend, I think it's called, and it's lovely summer yarn because it's 50% cotton, 50% acrylic, I think. Um, but it means you don't get sweaty hands in the summer. Two, three, this point I'm moving along again so into the next hole grab and I'm into my corner so I'm gonna do three double crochet chain two at this point I'm now going into the next diagonal corner so I'm missing this one again and I'm going into this one I'm now joined here need my next square which is here I'm going to go in front to back. One, two, three. Loop nice and big into the next hole. Grab your loop, pull back through into the next one front to back. We go, and I'm going to carry on working this until I get up to that end corner. Now 
Now I'm in the corner. One, two, three, chain two. And now I'm going to join into this corner here. So pull three back in. Right, so if you look at what I've got now, it's all turned round, but this is what we've now got for our two rows. So we have this one here joined. We started here. We've gone round, joined this, gone to this one. We've joined this one to this one. Now we're joining this one to this one. We then got this one to this one, this one to this one, and this one to this one. So now what we've got to do is we've just got to join them back, coming back down these C shapes like M's, C's, M's. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna complete this corner, complete this corner. We're gonna work up to this one, do this corner as normal, because I'm only gonna do two rounds on this demonstration. If you were gonna do this again for another row, you'd do exactly the same as we did for this one. So you come up, work down, work down, join this one onto this one. And that's what you're gonna do all the way around. So at the end of it, when I've joined these ones, we'll end up, we'll be over here, and then all we're going to do is walk all the way down here and then all the way back down here to make it join. So if you stay with me, I'll carry on. So I'm in my corner, I've chained two, I've joined it to this corner. I'm now going to do three double crochet in this corner. Three. Chain one as normal because I'm working along and three double crochet in each one. three chain one I'm into the corner this corner I'm going to do as normal I'm going to chain two and I'm now turning back round on this corner so I'm going to finish it as normal three double crochet in the corner Chain one, and I'm going to work round. So if I work all the way round till I'm back in this corner, and then I will see you at the end of that. So if you guys want to carry on joining. Into the corner as normal. Oh, that's the dog barking. And I'm working in this corner as normal. Oh, and the other dog's got up as well to see what's going on. Right, so I'm now back in this corner. What I now need to do is chain two. And at this point, I'm now gonna pick up this one. And what I would say is try and go one way, go and try and go the same way so the join looks the same. So I'm gonna make the loop nice and big. I'm gonna come in, oh, it's made itself smaller on itself. I'm gonna come in from here. I'm just gonna go underneath them both. Pull that one through, pull that one through. I'm now joined here again in this corner. So I need to finish this corner because I've only done three in there. So at this point, I'm going to chain two. And then I'm going to do three more double crochet in here. Then same as before, loop nice and big. I'm joining up the side, so I can join it exactly the same as I did this side before. So through, grab, pull it through, three double crochet. Loop, 
There's something going on outside. Clean up a crochet. Loop nice and big into the next hole, grab it into the next one. I'm in the corner, so I'm going to do three double crochet. One, two, three, chain two. At this point, I now need to join over here. So I'm going to go through the corner, grab it, and then I'm going to do my three double crochet that I need to do in this corner. I'm carrying on working across, so I'm going to chain one, three double crochet. So if we look and okay, hang around, so this one's going to come down here, down to here, join to this one, at which point I then start working on this one and I'm joining this one to this one again. So if I carry on down to this point here, one corner as normal, chain two, stuck again into here chain one I'm into this corner now so I'm going to do three double crochet Chain two, and at this point I need to join the same as I did over here. So at this point I'm going to make my loop nice and big so I know where it is. I'm going to spin it round, and I'm going to come under both, grab the loop. I've already done my chain two. Oh, where is it? There it is. I don't want to lose it. Pull it back through, and at this point I'm now going straight into here. Three double crochet. Three, loop, through the gap, grab, next one, actually that's gone really loopy, I'm going to undo that one, to here, one, two, three, loop, Grab in into the corner. Three double crochet, chain two, which point go into the other one, grab it, the one next to it, grab it. Pull it back through, three double crochet, and now you're in. We're on the homeward stretch now. But if you look, we're now joined. Let me get some more out while I'm doing it. We're now joined pretty much everywhere. The only bits that we've actually got left now to join, or you can see we might need to go up a bit actually. Two bigger squares. Ooh. Here we go. The only bits we've got left to join, we're going to carry on working down here as we normally would do for a granny square. We're going to work down here, putting our extra three double crochet in because we've only got three in each corner. We're going to work here, normal corner, three, chain two, three, and then we're going to work along here, joining with these ones as we go. So carry on working as you would do a normal granny square until we get to here. Chain one. Let 
normal corner. If you were going to go another round, another row on top, so you've got nine squares together, do your three, chain two, at which point this is where you would bring in your next one. Then you do exactly the same, you can join the bottoms, join the bottom, join the bottom, and then work up, let me put some more in actually. And then what you do, so we've joined the bottom here, the bottom here, the bottom here, and then you go around, down, up, round, up, round, joining each side to each side as you go. But I'm only gonna do six. So there we go. Chain two, three double crochet in the corner. One, working down along the side now. One, into the corner, do our chain three. Not chain three, just three. Chain two. At which point you're joining into here? Okay, so we're gonna go into here. Oh, grab it, pull it back through, and then you're ready to do your next chain three. Next top, next chain, not chain three. Next three double crochet in the next one. Along two, three. Chain one. So if you look, now we've got a corner because each one of these as its corner, three, three, next one along, into here, We're on the homeward straight now, one, three, chain one, three, Chain two, three, just because that's what I do. Two, three. And then all we're going to do is work all the way along the bottom and pretty much identically to how we've just done the side. So if I whip it round again, we're on the last bit. Chain one, I've already done. Right, I'm at where the two squares meet before. So this is this, I've just done three double crochet in here which will complete this corner. I'm gonna chain two into this gap here. Grab, and then three double crochet into here. Chain one, keep working along until we get to the next join. Next corner, so we need the next side with a corner on it. So what we can call it, do three double crochet, chain two, and then we're gonna come into the gap here, grab, we now join there, three more double crochet in here, and one on the last little bit. chain one so we need to finish off this last corner because we only put three in there to begin with so we're going to do three more double crochet in this corner one 
two, three, chain two, because we haven't got that initially. We're going to slip stitch to the top of our chain three, which is here. And cut the bolt, post it through, and we now have six squares joined with the continuous join method, all blue around the outside, and we only have two ends to sew in which is why I love this, because I hate sewing in ends. There we go. If you like this, please hit subscribe and you can see all my other YouTube videos um, and hope to see you again soon when I'm going to be doing hexagons and who knows what else. All right then. Thanks. Bye.